I saw my husband and my sister naked in my kitchen. I can't move. If I move it becomes real and I have to accept what I saw and think of what's next. I came home from work early and saw my sister's car thinking maybe she was dropping off some food from her job. But no, I walk in and see my husband and sister naked in my kitchen. The kitchen I paid for. In my house. As soon as I registered what I saw I got into my car and left. I kept driving, just driving, driving, driving until I found the hotel I'm at now. I don't want to believe it. I don't know what to do. My sister, my only family, and my best friend, the one who's supposed to be there for me and support me. My husband, my person, my other half, the one who's supposed to love and respect me. The two most important people in my life have ruined everything. I've blocked them both on my phone. I don't want to hear any of the bullshit excuses they'll come up. I don't want to confront this. I want to go back to this morning when everything was fine. Update. Sorry for not replying to comments and not updating, things have been hectic. I didn't think I needed to explicitly say this but by naked I meant they were butt naked and effing in the kitchen. I admit mentioning that I paid for the kitchen was odd and kind of funny. But anyone that knows me knows that the kitchen is my pride and joy, so yes, when I saw my sister and husband effing in my kitchen it stuck with me. And yes, they did see me. When I got to the hotel I cried for a few hours and then I just wanted to tell someone, anyone. The two people I would talk to when something happened in my life were the two I needed to talk about and it was 11 something in the evening so I wasn't going to disrupt my friends evenings and burden them. So instead I came to reddit thinking not many would see it. The response I received was overwhelming. I want to say thank you to everyone that sent me kind words and advice. Thank you so much for all the virtual hugs. I only commented once, that is because I had so much to think about and do. I appreciate all the love and support. There was so much amazing advice given in the comments, although a lot of it was American based I still appreciate it. But one thing I did see a lot was to unblock them and keep the texts and calls as evidence so I did do that. After posting and another good cry I knew that I had to get my shit together. I didn't have my sister or any family to help so I had to do it myself. I started researching what my next steps were. In the morning, my friend called me saying my sister contacted her wondering if I had been in contact with her. I told her what happened and she very kindly offered her spare room and her day off work to help me sort stuff out. I called in sick at my job and my friend helped get things done. I got in contact with my friend who works at a bank and she helped me start sorting my financials. My friend also found me a lawyer to consult with. After my phone consultation with the lawyer, I was so overwhelmed. I now know why so many women don't divorce their cheating husbands. It's such a lengthy, expensive, and emotionally draining process. I, fortunately, make a stable income and can support myself and we, fortunately, don't have kids. I have to remember that things aren't going to happen in one day. It will all take time. As for the house, unfortunately, his parents bought it for us and to be honest, after what I saw, I don't want it anymore. I will try to get reimbursed for my beloved kitchen, otherwise, the house can burn down for all I care. This has been super draining but I knew I had to talk to them. I already knew there was no coming back for my husband and when I checked his messages they said exactly what I thought they would say. I'm sorry. It's not what it looks like. We didn't mean for it to happen. Please come home. I love you. Blah blah blah. Just absolute bullshit. A small part of me thought maybe I could find it in me to forgive my sister as we only have each other. But after I opened her messages all hope was lost. She used the same excuses we heard our father use when he cheated on our mother and beat us. She said the same things our mother would say when she would excuse our dad's behavior and also beat us. I spoke to her this morning and asked her to tell me straight up who, what, where, when, and why. She told me back in July when I went on a girl's trip she was at our house and joked to my husband that I would cheat on him on the girl's trip because that's what always happens. He said nah, and they joked about it but she said he could get even with me and they ended up doing it once. One time lead to two to three then two whenever they could do it. There was never any evidence or signs or anything that I was going to or even thinking of cheating. I told her we were done and there is nothing she could do to bring us back together. I later received a call from an unknown number. It was my mother who I haven't spoken to in seven years. Turns out my sister has been in contact with her and told her what had happened and my piece of shit mother, the same woman who beat me for breathing wrong, had the audacity to say this is what I get for taking her daughters away from her. It hurts so much. I know things are going to get messier and this is going to be a long few years. I've now lost all my blood relations. I need to get all my shit and find a new place. I want to show them that I can and I will thrive without them. Again thank you all from the bottom of my heart for all the love and advice. And to all the people in the comments that could relate to me I am so sorry.